Hi, let me share a small secret with you. I design almost all my YouTube thumbnails using nothing but PowerPoint. And now with PowerPoint designer feature available in Office 365, creating impressive thumbnails has become a child's play. For example, you can create a thumbnail that looks like this, or 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 even this entirely within PowerPoint, even if you have zero design skills and very limited time. Let me show you the power of creating beautiful YouTube thumbnails using nothing but PowerPoint with PowerPoint designer feature. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Here I am on a new slide in a new presentation. The first step is to change the layout. I'm going to right click, go to layout and use this title only layout. And I'm going to say this is Italy vlog. Now I'm going to insert some pictures onto the slide. Just observe how ridiculously easy this whole process is. Go to insert, go to pictures, you can go to stock images. Of course, if you're working with Office 365, you have options for all these pictures to be taken right from inside PowerPoint. You select Italy. Now I'm just going to pick up some pictures from it. This one looks impressive. This one looks impressive. Maybe this one is very colorful. This and choose this and say insert. Now I have four of the images downloaded onto my slide. Now that's it. You don't have to do anything else. You go to design, then go to designer and let AI do its magic. And here we have some very impressive alternatives. Now what I'm going to do is select this one, right click, duplicate slide. So I save this instance. Now let me see if I have any other variation. Yeah, this one looks beautiful. Loved it. Right click, go to duplicate slide. See if there is any other variation I can go for. Now this one looks even more impressive. Select this, right click, duplicate slide. See how ridiculously easy it is. Select this. Now that looks more interesting, very organic. Right click, duplicate slide and go further and see if there is anything else. Maybe something like this is quite nice. If I want to explore more, I can go to see more design ideas and let PowerPoint sweat it out and think up of different ideas for me. Now this one looks good. Select this, right click, duplicate slide. You can see that I'm going berserk with this because it is really like letting a child inside a candy shop and that is what you will get. So this is another option. Can you see, I have created all this in a matter of seconds. Now, if I want this text to look much better, all I need to do is to go to view, go to slide master, go all the way to the top, change this font to something interesting. Maybe I can go here and this is the font that I'm using, Amasis MT Pro. Let us select that and close master view. Of course, you can download any of these fonts and use them. I have created a separate tutorial on how to download and install fonts from Google. I will leave a link to that video in the description box below the video and also in the iCard. You watch that tutorial. Let us close this. Now see this and it's a beautiful font. Now I can go back to each one and if I want to increase the font size, I can do so and that looks really beautiful. If I want it folded, I can do so. Can you see here in a matter of a few seconds, I've created some really impressive looking YouTube thumbnails. Now the options change totally when you have just three photos. Let me go to file, create a new presentation, go to design and choose the default theme. If you use one of these custom themes, then you may not really have a lot of options available from designer. And that is something that I want you to keep in mind. Now let us right click, go to layout and change the layout to title only. And let us say this is India vlog this time. And let us insert just three photos this time. Go to pictures, stock images, and let me say India and hit enter. And let us pick up a few very colorful ones. Let us choose maybe something like this one, select this one, 
and select this one and say insert just three of these images that's it then go to design go to designer and let ai do its thinking and here we have some seriously nice options can you see it's beautiful right click duplicate slide and see if there is anything else that you can come up with this is awesome right click duplicate slide go further down and if there are something more like this one is beautiful right click duplicate slide let me do one more see more designs oh yeah this is awesome now see the beautiful options available here and this kind of thumbnail if you were to design by yourself it would take forever and just as we did earlier you can of course select this and use any other font whichever is something that you really like and then increase the font size substantially and there you have a professional looking thumbnail isn't that beautiful now let me show you how you can create a thumbnail with just your own photo and space available for you to write your text. That is another very interesting one. Let me go to file, new and create a new presentation. Once again, design and apply a simple theme and then right click layout and go to title only and say my thumbnail here. And then insert my picture. I've already isolated my own image. Let me go to D and then go to pictures where I have stored my isolated image, RAM images, and this is my picture. I can place it over here. Of course, I've created n number of tutorials that show you how to create isolated images from your photo. I will leave a link to the video that I created that shows you how to isolate your image using Paint 3D. You will find that link in the description box below the video and also in the iCard. You can use that method to, to isolate your image. Before I go to design and use designer option, I can apply one of these design themes and then apply designer. See what happens when I go to something like say this and then let designer work its magic. Here is a beautiful slide design. I can really increase my size and place it over here or I can use one of the options available. Can you see here? This one looks pretty nice. So I can use this particular image, right click, copy, and then go back once again to this, remove this, control V to paste it. So we have, we don't even have the problem of resizing. Everything is done by PowerPoint. Now, of course, as I did earlier, I can change the font to something different like this and I can increase. Of course, I need to increase the size and then I can do this left align and then place it over here. Now, this is the thumbnail I just created in a matter of minutes. By the way, these are some more variations of the different thumbnails that we created using nothing but PowerPoint designer. Now, the best part about creating thumbnails using PowerPoint is the dimensions are already perfectly suited for YouTube. Let us say you like this particular thumbnail. All you need to do first is to go to file, go to save as, and then choose the place where you want to save it and then save it as a PNG image. You can go down here png and then you say save and powerpoint will ask you if you want to have all the slides to be exported or just this one as png you say just this one once that is done you log into your youtube creator studio then go to content and then choose the specific video where you want to upload your custom thumbnail then go here to this particular icon called details and then go down and you'd be able to find this first thumbnail option you just click on these three dots and you can say change. Go to the specific location where you have saved the picture just now. This is the picture and you say open and you can see that it is already changed. Now what I've shown you is a creative way to use PowerPoint. You will not find any of these tricks available in any books or courses. If you don't have the time to do all the trial and error, I have done all the hard work for you and compile them all in this Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, which has all the tips, tricks and techniques that I've learned over the years with trial and error. You can click on the link and learn more details about this product. And if you're someone who needs to make presentations as part of your profession, then it makes sense to enroll into this course. I highly recommend that you watch this video next, which teaches you the basics of PowerPoint in around 20 minutes. I'll see you inside that tutorial.